it's the Disney Cars Toy Club, and today we're going to be opening up 20 different items that are out here on the table. We have some Play-Doh eggs, some chocolate eggs, and we also have some blind boxes, one of which we have not shown on the channel yet. And we're going to start this video off by opening up this Play-Doh egg right here in the front row. And this is going to be like a purple pinkish Play-Doh egg. Let's go ahead and get this first one opened up. And we got a super squishy My Little Pony Fashions. I actually called this a Masham in another video, but it's a, it is called a Fashion. And let's go ahead and get this opened up. We'll see what we get for our first toy. And there it is. Have not gotten a Rainbow Dash yet. So this is gonna be another my little pony that I'm not familiar with. Sorry that I do not know the names of these. And these are so cute that I almost feel kind of bad smashing these, but uh, that's what they're made for. You just kind of squish them. If you get mad, that's a good toy to have. You can just kind of crush it. We'll go ahead and set that right there. And let's go ahead and open up this green one. Let's take the little happy faces off here. Honestly, I cannot wait to get to some of those blind boxes because we got some really good blind boxes in this video for you guys. So here's going to be an Iron Man micro mugs. Now, if you look way back here, we did a whole set of these. It was the Avengers, and that was the Iron Man that came in the set. And now that I'm actually taking a look at this Iron Man, he's not even on the box. So I don't think it's going to be possible for us to get a duplicate of that specific one, which is exciting. That means that this is going to be something new that you guys haven't seen here on the channel yet. Let's go ahead and get this opened up. And who did we get? We got an Iron Man that actually looks pretty close to the one that we got. That was <laughs> that I've been showing you guys. I was kind of hoping we were going to get one that looked a lot different. Let's go ahead and open up our first blind box. Now these are going to be the brand new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Kid Robot Toys. These came out just a few weeks ago. We've opened up quite a bit of these on the channel so far. We've gotten all four of the Ninja Turtles, but we're still looking for some of the other characters. And wow, I think that's our fourth foot soldier. We haven't had a lot of luck with getting the other ones. But there is a, another foot soldier. This is one of the few toys that come in the set that does not come with a weapon. Which I thought that was kind of strange. You would think that the foot soldier would have had like a throwing star or something. But let's go ahead and open up our first chocolate egg. We have a Disney Plains chocolate egg right here. Get this chocolate cracked open. Hoping we'll get a chupacabra. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Looks like we got a forklift, one of the little repair vehicles. And this one might actually be one of the worst ones that you can get because the rest of them are going to be the planes, which is kind of what you would want if you're buying a planes surprise toy. But I'll go ahead and get these stickers put on them and we'll see what he looks like. So here's a look at the forklift with his stickers on. That's pretty close to what it's supposed to look like. We'll go ahead and set that down right there. And let's grab this yellow star Play-Doh egg. Go ahead and get the Play-Doh off here. And let's see what we got inside. We got an egg inside of an egg. And this is going to be a Glitzy Globes Find a Surprise. Now, I have not opened any of these yet. I'm not sure if one of the other people on the channel has opened one. But this is going to be the first one of these that I've opened. All right, so I couldn't find the tear strips. So I made my own with a pair of scissors. So let's see what we got inside of this thing. All right, so, wow, what is that? Looks like a little, like a miniature snow globe. And we have a little tiny elf right here. Almost looks a little bit like Tinkerbell. All right, so basically we have to make our own snow globe. How cool is that? That's a really neat little toy. Let's go ahead and I'm going to add some water and get this put together and we'll see what it looks like. All right, so as you can see right here, we have our little dome of water and this is going to be the glitter pellet and we're going to add it right into the little bowl here. If I can get it out, <laughs> there it goes. All right, so that should start dissolving, hopefully, and it's going to have little pieces of glitter kind of floating around and there's gonna be a little water that comes squirting out of here I think 
And as you can see, the glitter pellet's kind of starting to bubble a little bit. Let's try to shake it and we'll see if we can get it to kind of mix up a little bit. All right, so I kind of had to smack it against the table a little bit, but as you can see, the pellet did come apart. And we're gonna put it right down into the base here. And now we have a little miniature snow globe. And I have a feeling after we shake it a little bit more, that pellet's gonna come apart a little bit more. But it is starting to come apart. I'll have to admit, out of all the surprise toy eggs, that has to be one of the neater ones that I've seen yet because that's actually a pretty cool toy to come out of a little egg because you get to build it and you get to add the little sprinkles of <laughs> glitter to it and it actually turned out pretty good. So that's definitely an egg that I would recommend picking up if you, if you want to build one of those. So let's go ahead and set that stuff off to the side and let's open up this goofy faced purple and green Play-Doh egg. We'll see what we got inside of here. And we have a toy this time. And look at that. It is a miniature Sonic the Hedgehog. And he's all fuzzy and furry. That's a pretty cool looking Sonic. How neat is that? He's got a little base too. And he's holding up one finger to point that he's number one. Here's a look at the back. It's got a lot of detail for a little miniature character. I mean, look at the size difference right here. I mean, that thing is tiny. That's pretty neat. We'll go ahead and set that down right there. Now, let's go ahead and open up. Let's open up the Scooby-Doo chocolate egg. Let's see what we got in here. Now, I know these melted because when I got these in the mail, yeah, look at that. That thing got melted pretty good. <laughs> so, luckily, though, it doesn't affect the toy. Let's see what we got inside of here if I can get the chocolate off of it. And what is that? That is definitely not a Scooby-Doo character. So I'm taking a second look at this little instruction manual and right there it says to kind of squeeze it and it should pop out and then you're supposed to catch it, which it definitely, it if you squeeze it hard enough, I think it'll come, yeah. So it comes out, but it does not bounce. And, you know, I guess you could try to take the cup and swoop it down and try to catch it, but we'll save that for another day. That's probably one of the crappier toys that I've ever seen come out of a chocolate egg. We'll just set that on down and get that out of the way. Let's go ahead and open up the Marvel Labbits series or Labbit series kid robot blind box. These are pretty cool. We've only opened one so far, which is the carnage that you see sitting back there and let's see who we get this time i want spider-man that's that's the character that i want i want to get spider-man let's see who we get definitely not spider-man so if i can get them out we got captain america so this is going to be a captain america rabbit which is called a Labbit. And here is his card that comes with him. And he comes with a little tiny shield that goes in his mouth. So here he is with his little shield hanging out of his mouth. These are definitely neat collectibles. I mean, taking a superhero and then transforming them into a rabbit, that's, that's pretty cool. Here's a look at the two side by side. There's Carnage. And when I was doing this video the other day, I pointed that out and Captain America also has one as well. So, <laughs> I, I don't know. I'm not even gonna comment or say anything about that, but that is kind of amusing. We'll go ahead and set him down. Let's open up this little tiny yellow egg. Let's see what we got inside of here. And it looks like we got a trash pack. And inside, what is that? It, lo it almost looked like the character from The Lion King, but that's definitely not him. I think that's like a, uh, what is that, a moose? I don't know, buffalo maybe? I guess it's a buffalo. Yeah, and he's got a little bird. I guess that's supposed to be a bird sitting on the top of his head. And these are also kind of like the mashems. You just you can take them and crush them. So we'll go ahead and set him down. And let's open up, let's open up this big blue egg. Let's see what we got inside of here. We'll take our Scooby-Doo down, move some of this stuff off to the side. Let's take his big eyes off first. 
course I'm getting some yellow play-doh on the blue and what is that oh my goodness we got some some slime this is definitely a surprise egg right here look at that what is that that's kind of gross actually let's put it on our kinder surprise egg we'll just let it kind of ooze on down while we're while we're doing this so this is going to be a creo transformers micro changer we've done a few of these on the channel and still got some ooze on there <laughs> good get that off and let's see what we got we got beachcomber there is his picture there's his transformed state so i'll go ahead and get this put together and we'll see what he looks like so here's a look at the first transformed state of Beachcomber. He's got his gun right there. <laughs> and uh, I'll go ahead and switch him up and we'll see what he looks like as a vehicle. So there's a look one more time at what it's supposed to look like. And this is what it actually does look like. <laughs> so it's uh, it definitely it does not look as clean and nice as the picture does. And in order to transform him, you have to take his head off. And there's really nowhere to put his head. So I guess I'll just put it right there on the top you know the transformed states of these things never turn out that impressive so there's our little beach buggy vehicle whatever that's supposed to be we'll just set that down let's keep going and let's see what our spider-man's hiding over here we'll go ahead and take him off and take our red and white play-doh egg apart got a blue plastic egg inside of here and inside we have a G.I. Joe Micro Force. Let's go ahead and get this open. We've done a few of these on the channel as well. And we got these two. So we got Low Light with his night vision looking goggles on. And the other one's going to be Red Ninja, which is right there. Kind of neat. Let's go ahead and set those down. Let's keep moving. Let's open up this Simpsons blind box. We did an entire case of the Treehouse of Horror. We got every character, that's where Ralph came from, except for the question mark mystery character. That was the only one that we didn't get out of that case. Let's see who we got. Is that Sideshow Bob or, no, that's Sideshow Mel. Excuse me, I almost called him Sideshow Bob. That's definitely not the Fraser Crane character. Maybe if I'm wrong, you guys can correct me in the comments, but I think that's his name, Sideshow Mel. It's been a little while since I watched an episode with him in it. And there was no other accessories, so that's pretty much all he comes with. Go ahead and set that one down. And let's open up the Plato Egg right here with our alien Simpson character sitting on top of it. Go ahead and set that down. Let's get our little flowers off here. And what do we got? We got these Zelfs. So these are pretty neat. These are like little trolls. But there's a ton of these to collect. I can't remember how many there is. I want to say there's like 30 or something of these. 30 different ones. So let's see who we got. She's got some bright yellow hair, that's for sure. And it looks like we got Buttershy. And she's got pink fairy wings with glitter in them. Man, her hair is actually seems like it's longer than any of the other ones that I've opened. I mean, look, look how much hair there, there is right there. And again, the neat thing about these is you can really just kind of go to town with the hair on these and just kind of make it look crazy looking. That is a lot of, of hair on that one though. <laughs> you can clean the camera off with it too. So we'll go ahead and set that down. Next up, let's go ahead and open up our Disney Cars chocolate egg. Let's see what we got inside of here. So we did a planes and now we're doing a cars. And we definitely got a car. So this looks like it's Raul. And he's got his stickers right here, which looks like it's already kind of coming apart. But here's what the car looks like before you put the stickers on. So I'll go ahead and get the stickers on. We'll see what it looks like. 
So here is our Raul, and he actually turned out pretty neat with the stickers. That's not a bad looking car. The stickers went on there pretty easily, so again, that one turned out pretty good. We'll go ahead and set him down. And let's open up what I have been waiting to open for about a week now. This is going to be the very first ever Disney Urban Vinyl collectible figure that we've shown here on the channel. This is the Vinylmation. These are actually kind of expensive. You can buy these at Disneyland or Disney World, whatever you want to call it. Here is some of the different characters that come out of the boxes. I bought an entire case of these, so you're going to be seeing these in a lot of upcoming videos. We'll go ahead and get this opened up. We'll see what we got inside. That is a pretty nice looking package right there. It looks kind of like the Kid Robot foils where it's just the bright shiny silver with the black lettering on it. And let's see which Mickey Mouse character we got. That's kind of a creepy one. So it looks like we got this one right here where you can kind of see his ribs and his heart and his brain. And these are also kind of like the Kid Robots where they have little arms that you can move and his head moves. That's what the back looks like. It's even got a little bone right there on his arm. So these are kind of like artsy types of Mickey Mouses. And just kind of a comparison, here's the real Mickey Mouse next to our artsy Vinylmation. That's kind of a neat collectible. The one that I really want to see out of the entire set is going to be the popcorn one and the night. Those are the two that I'm looking forward to hopefully getting at some point. We'll go ahead and set that off to the side. Let's go ahead and grab one off the top here. So this is going to be the blue and orange Play-Doh egg. We'll get our orange Play-Doh off here first. And now let's take the blue off and we got an orange egg inside of here. And we have a Simpsons Lego minifigures. You guys really cannot get enough of the Simpsons because that's, that's the one thing that I see the most requested so far when we do these is more Simpsons. So we're doing more for you and we got a Ned Flanders it looks like which I have this one so I'll get him put together real quick and I'll show you what he looks like so here's our Ned Flanders he's got I love Southpaws and property of Ned Flanders right there on his toolbox would have been funny if that actually came with Homer's character instead of Ned but uh, we'll go ahead and set him down and before I forget I didn't realize this was also in the box. Again, I haven't opened any of these yet, so that actually did come with it as well. It tells you the artist's name, which was Adrian Drade, Drade, I don't know how to say that, but there's the Vinylmation logo. So that does come with it. We'll go ahead and set that over there. Now, let's go ahead and open this Kinder Surprise. This is a Disney Princess Kinder Surprise egg. You got that giant Kinder Surprise egg sitting back there. I'm sure you guys have been waiting for this one to, be, to get opened up. And it looks like we got Snow White, I believe. Let's go ahead and get her put together. So here she is put together, and she's got the glitter on her dress. We have a lot of glittery characters today. In fact, I probably, I'm probably i starting to get a lot of this glitter all over the place, but here's our Snow White. Go ahead and set that back here. Move this off to the side. And let's open up this big purple play-doh eyeball and let's knock everything down in the process so this has like a whole bunch of little eyeballs on it it's kind of creepy looking isn't it we'll go ahead and take that play-doh off and inside of here we have a transformers toy it's going to be the transformers surprise pack there's 30 different ones to collect i did get to watch the new transformers movie last week and it was pretty good. It was really long, though. I mean, I was I was definitely ready for that movie to end before it actually ended. Finally, we got Optimus Prime. Look at that. Let's get him on the base. That's one of the ones that we've been looking for. So there's Optimus Prime. That's probably the one that most people want to see. Have not gotten many duplicates out of those packages yet. We've opened, I think, about five of them so far. It also comes with a little collectible sheet that shows you what the other ones are. And it comes with the little card, the 3D puzzle piece to put together the actual picture, which I'm not sure if we'll be able to do that, but we are slowly collecting them. And there's the Optimus Prime card. Of course, all of his stats are almost maxed out. 
So we're starting to come down to the wire. We have two eggs left. Let's go ahead and open up the small one first. It's gonna be the multicolored fruity looking egg. And yeah, that's the Play-Doh Plus right there. That stuff doesn't like to come off too easy. And we got a Nitro Mites bike. So this is gonna be a superhero bike. Let's go ahead and get it open. See who we got. Oh, nice, we got Daredevil, look at that. Daredevil is probably the most fitting superhero to go on a bike. And here's going to be all, some of the different ones that you can collect. As you can see, there is a ton. And the neat thing about these is you can rev them up and then drop them. And then they should hopefully go scooting around. Yeah, see, so that one actually, if you notice, it kind of stood up on its own. And to give you kind of a better look, I think those really scoot. In fact, I would recommend picking these up if you like motorcycles because those things are pretty neat. They'll really kind of move around. Here's one last look at our bike. So, as you can see, hit Scooby Doo. And let's go ahead and open up our final Play Doh egg. This is going to be one of the bigger ones. And we have a My Little Pony surprise pack. And these do not have tear strips, so I'm going to have to use the scissors. And you got to be careful because these have little cards in them too. And it looks like we're going to get Royal Riff. Makes up songs to sing together with friends. There's a look at the back of the card. And here is our Royal Riff. Oh, nice. Look, how, look at that one. I will have to admit, the My Little Ponies that come out of these surprise packs are usually pretty nice. These all look really good that I've gotten out of those so far. So I would recommend those if you like My Little Pony, because those usually come out pretty nice. At least from the ones that I've seen so far. And that's actually a really nice looking character. In fact, you know, most of the ones that I've gotten out of that surprise package usually turn out pretty good. I mean, the colors on them look really nice and just the overall detail on them is pretty good. So if you like My Little Pony, I would recommend picking those up because they are pretty cool. But I hope you guys enjoyed our video. If there's a specific type of surprise pack that you want to see more of, be sure to comment and let us know on this video and we'll try to pick those up for you guys. Also, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit the like button that lets us know that you do enjoy watching these. This is Disney Cars Toy Club and as always, thanks for stopping by. So Tyler's going to pick a toy that he thinks is the coolest. Which toy does Tyler want to pick for his toy? You want Optimus Prime? That's the toy that you want? Yes, I want to see what he transforms. <laughs> this one does it transforms. This the one that you want? Yeah. Are you sure? Yes. He transforms into a truck. <laughs> All right. So Tyler thought that Optimus Prime was the coolest toy up there. All right. So I'm going to drop this right to Optimus Prime. <laughs> <laughs> Where is he? He's in the goo. You're just gooed Optimus Prime. Oh, that's so gross. <laughs>